by Williams and Hootenham couldn't hold it it came off Woodcock Barnes it's off the bar Hatley touched on by Robson Woodcock in behind Finland Pekkanen on the line and Woodcock finally forced it in it's Woodcock's goal Hatley Stevens goes outside him, but Haitley doesn't need any help. Finland simply could not stop him. Sansom. And acres of space for John Barnes. Haitley and Brian Robson could simply have walked it over the line. Chamberlain against tired defenders and it's reached Sansom 46 times Kenny Sansom's played for England and Oli Hootenham is the first goalkeeper he's beaten So England then get us away in this important World Cup tie here in Istanbul. The first time the two nations have met in over a hundred years. With the England subs behind him, Bobby looking very tense. It's right for people like Anderson and Mark Wright to come forward. And Butcher, of course, as well, six foot four of him. And it was Butcher who got the header in. And Barnes also! And England has scored! And Brian Robson has played a captain's part with a goal for England inside the first ten minutes. Yes, a good goal there by Robson, typical of the way that uh, he scores goals for his club as well. But now it's Ridvan for Turkey. Oh, well that was tough for him. And that'll give you an idea of how much rain we've had here in the last 24 hours or so. The ball sticking there. And Wins might get in there. The keeper's got it and lost it. And was in all sorts of trouble there from uh, John Barnes's cross. Radic. Hustled by Butcher and beaten by him. And suddenly Woodcock's on his way. And it's scored! And it's a second goal for England. A mighty blow. And it was Terry Butcher who suddenly popped up in a subsist on the goalkeeper. Two goals for England in 16 minutes. But at the moment, they don't really know the Turks. And there's a bit of arm waving going on the Turkish bench. The gentleman with moustache on the right is the... Some good work there by Barnes. And away goes Steve Williams now for England. Wilkins returning it again. And look who's turned up as a right winger now, Kenny Sanson. And Woodcock there, the flag has stayed down and the keeper is out. If Woodcock can get it in fairly quickly, but it needed lifting a lot more there to find Peter Wither who'd taken up a good position at the far post. Still going on for uh, bigger and better things here this afternoon. Wilkins with the free kick after Barnes had jumped over it. It'll come out for Stephen Williams. Oh, and he might go all the way. And it's there. Well, Woodcock and Robson followed it in. And it was Robson, I think, who got the touch. After Williams had made a glorious break. Well, the half-time whistle goes. And what an excellent first half by England. Well, England manager Bobby Robson said that above all else, he wanted a bold performance here by England today. In the first half, it's been a masterful one that's given them a three-goal lead. Wilkins, Anderson, with a nice touch there for Robson, who's got Woodcock waiting in the middle, and Barnes coming up on the far side, number four.
A brilliant break by England in the first three minutes of the second half, producing the fourth goal. And some lovely work on the right involving uh, Brian Robson. And in the end, Barnes coming steaming in at the far post to make it four. Hassan finding Ismail. And Butcher stretching out his legs again. As Ridvan gets it in this time. Helped by Stanson. Good control by Terry Butcher. Well, in the centre of the picture there, two very satisfied gently back to Shilton. And Barnes might come in again. Yes! It's number five! Well, the England defenders looking back at Peter Shilton, and I suppose he'll claim the assist for that one. A massive kick by the goalkeeper. Peter with again involved. And Barnes may be time this afternoon, finishes in the back of the Turkish net. But he lost at home to Finland. And I think if you lose a couple of home games, <coughs> as it um, play as well as it is here at the moment, then uh, it could be in for a very promising World Cup. Well, there's a few games to go before we actually go. Yes, indeed. But here's Wilkins. Played again for Robson, who's onside and gets his hat-trick magnificently. <laughs> what a brilliant goal for England. Taking the score to six. Well, this is an absolute riot now, and what a superb goal. Again, but that was a little free kick he played short. And Anderson, who will cut it out and find Ray Wilkins. That's a lovely ball there. And Anderson on the break now. Played inside again for Woodcock. And it's another one. I don't believe it. It's seven now. No wonder Tony Woodcock smiling. And no wonder Wilkins and Anderson are there because they were involved so soon. Now just wonders what on earth has hit his side, Mr. Kandan Saha. And here we go again. Woodcock, he's looking for a hat-trick now. And only just saved by the outstretched hands of the goalkeeper. Some ironic cheers for the Turkish crowd there for the keeper who saved one then. Although in fairness he's had little chance Maybe apart from the first. As England have put on a most majestic style here, they've taken full advantage of almost everything. And Woodcock, though, hitting that one against the keeper. Woodcock's made a break as Wilkins takes the free kick, floats it in there. Oh. And Robson inside again for Ridman. Which had again. Allison stops in the crowd, getting very agitated, wants something to shout. Ahmed, a little chip in there, and uh, <laughs> like picking cherries off a tree, that one for Peter Shilton. Look in, there's another lovely ball for Francis, crossed in once more, with... Teamwork and the quality in terms of their attitude is that with all these goals lead, they're not just pretend, content just to sit back and say we've won comfortably, they're looking for more. Here's Wilkins, performing wonders there as Stevens plays it in, with, with a header, and that time he did get it there, and managed to get a... Wilkins, no, it's Barnes. A deep one now towards Peter Wears, but he couldn't get his header to it. Gary Stevens has! Eight, no, disallowed. There must have been an offside inside that six-yard area. And <laughs> Gary Stevens, who thought he'd notch number eight, finds off. Wilkins. Stevens. So many available. Francis is one of them. A lovely little drag back, and he's put Anderson in. And a corner. Bloody in front. I think uh, on one occasion there, Ray Wilkins actually did lose his concentration and let uh, number four get in for a shot. Francis, losing out to Erdal. Well, the man has had nothing to do, had to wait until 86 minutes. Post. Anderson's come up from the back post as well. Well, and it's Viv Anderson who gets the goal. And England go up to eight.
And that is the final whistle. The last moment of a truly remarkable and brilliant performance by England. Ipotecando ormai la qualificazione a Belfast ha superato l'Irlanda del Nord per 1-0 tra i bianchi d'Inghilterra, i milanisti Hetley e Wilkins e negli ultimi dieci minuti anche il sampdoriano Francis ha siglato la rete del successo inglese confermando la sua... Year-olds Trevor Stephen, Mark Wright, and Watford's John Barnes have to watch, and England will. Number 11, Hadji, the pinup boy of Romanian football. Eight days. Uh, nevertheless, it is good to see the Italian players that have been in Italy back. I think it's going to be quite a physical match because I do believe they're well round up these Romanians. And already the flags up. Poor Astra is the player who went. Harry Butch has made his way forward. There was a fair amount of practice here on set plays. As Trevor Stephen comes in for the header. Kamataru got up unopposed, but Butcher made a good decision because he conceded possession. And now Mike Wright being tested and Shelton having to come to the edge of the 18-yard area, but kept the ball just inside the line and a foul on him by Korash. Barnes took it. Robson! Oh, he's at the post. So close for England and their captain, Brian Robson. Barnes curled it in. Robson beat his marker. He beat the goalkeeper and it hit the upright. He did try and Shilton, who's been made very aware of Haji. Indeed, they rehearsed defending at these free kicks, England, in that very goal only yesterday. Korash coming in, back to Negrilla. Good drive by the right back, Ungrianu. Berlini, Ungrianu, Korash. Shot was blocked by Butcher, but he still played it on again for Kamataro to shoot. And he'll probably be disappointed with his finish, playing as they did in the first half. And it's the second half starting with England playing from the right. Allegedly 110,000 somehow found their way in. About 70 or just under today, I would think. Haji is fouled. And the early ball for Kamataru, who is onside, and Korash in the middle. Berlini back to Negrilla. Kamataru coming in. Good save again by the England goalkeeper. And Butcher was in there. And a chance for Robson. And for Mariner. Oh! England's best opportunity, perhaps. But as Robson dived in first and caused the unrest. Kamataru going up with Butcher. And Korash here. And Haji! Still a chance though, he played it back to Klein and Rednich is in there and it's all a little bit wild in the England penalty area. Jovan has come up from the back. Korash! Well, that happened because Mark Wright appeared to either slip or... Berlini. Berlini to Ungruanu. Came through well there, and found Hadji. Shilton has saved England again. Some again. 
And the game ends in a nil-nil draw. And I remember saying at the end of the match in Belfast that the result in the long term will be more important to England than the performance. <laughs>
face of Lineker with the turning factor. Kamataru, did he take it with his hand? Shilton, it's one of Reese. Shilton obviously thought that he used his hand. Look at Francesco there. But I must say, I thought the number nine used his hand. With a flick on by Rednick. Surely there was a touch of the forearm there. But he got right through the heart of the England defence. Peter Shilton to meet him. And Shilton, in fact, went the wrong way. Huddle. Reed. Haitley. Lineker. Stevens. Romania haven't been beaten here. Sansa. Bring me away from Haji. Lineker. Good save. Individual ability here than in many of their sides of the past. John Barnes. Lineker. Next left, the reaction to that pass was understandable. Huddle. Yes! Barnes! Yes! No! The flag is up on the far side. I can only think the flag was for offside. Must have been very, very tight indeed. One one it is. And Mitya Lucescu greets that as a victory. Which for him it is to get a point here at Wembley. It's an England side with just one change from the draw with Romania here last month. Ray Wilkins returns for the injured Peter Reid. A chance, says Bobby Robson, to see whether Wilkins and Glenn Hoddle can operate in the same midfield. So England kick off in the rather strange colour combination of red shirts and blue shorts. In the opening ten minutes, England just really sorting out exactly what style of defensive play they're up against. And it's a very mass one, but Lineker with the first strike in anger. Cleverly found. It's Wilkins ahead, ahead of Hoddle here. And Waddle coming in onside. And Robson. Couldn't force it in. Waddle. It breaks to Chris Waddle again. And Stevens in so much space to England's right. But Waddle has his eyes perhaps on the goal. And he's made it! It's his opening goal for England. And it's arrived in the true Waddle style. On and on he went. In the 15th minute, Chris Waddle 
beating the goalkeeper on the near post at the end of a spectacular run. Well, Bobby Robson has said by picking him, he's shown his belief in Waddle, and Waddle has repaid that faith. England lead, self-belief to take on defenders who, in the end, were so unsettled. And then a goalkeeper who was completely surprised by Waddle's shot. Ismail trying to surprise Shilton. For the most difficult pass. Waddle. Stevens is onside. And Lineker, 2-0. England very much in the groove. Two goals in three minutes. Turkey torn apart again. And Stevens with the presence of mind to look up and find the head of Lineker. Possibly to another eight. It's asking so much. But England are so determined. Hoddle. Lineker. It's Wilkins this time. It's Waddle and the linesman is flagging. And that one doesn't count. Robson is onside. Clean in at Yashar. It's hit the post. Lineker. Hakeley. Tremendous save. Robson. 3 0. And Yashar this time unlucky. A hat trick in Istanbul has helped himself again here after initially hitting the post England reclaimed it Haitley's header was beaten out by Yashar but Robson pounced and what a good goal scoring record from midfield Brian Robson has for his country Coddle and he'd hardly find as much room as that in a practice match Stevens goes on, Robson's gone to the near post, Lineker, it's four, and England promised a night of celebration, and that's certainly the way it's turning out. Again, it's the Stevens-Lineker combination, the header buried in the corner. Three minutes left before half-time. European Championship against Luxembourg almost three years ago. Because they've got four in the first half against Turkey in the World Cup. Welcome back to Wembley. England on their way to Mexico in style. Four goals to the good. Every prospect of more to come. Then turned by Yunal. it's but a temporary reprieve for Turkey with Hoddle and Haitley it won't go in for him to his task better than most for Turkey but here's Waddle again Lineker is this the hat trick it is A very special moment indeed. Three goals for your country, as Gary Lineker has done here. In the ninth minute of the second half, Turkey had given the ball away. And Lineker made space for himself. And just as Brian Robson got a hat-trick against Turkey in Istanbul, Gary Lineker has got one here at Wembley. He got a bang on the back of the head, but Waddles recaptured the ball, and Haitley suddenly is in full working order. But not thinking quite quickly enough. 
with a total of 13 goals scored in the two internationals against them and England's qualification for Mexico is well and truly rubber stamped the opposition to come and they have been swept aside again particularly by Gary Lineker <laughs>